Today guys I bring you this Night King Zane build, a setup which makes the most of the trial he offers via his skill tree perks, his anointed weapons and so much more. This comes with great defense, insane damage and something that's just super fun to use and I guarantee you will love it. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be with a chance of winning this yourself follow the instructions on screen now and good luck. Okay so there are many Cryo Zane builds out there, the Arctic Assassin, the Sub-Zero and a few others. So I decided I would also create one, an up to date one, one which uses new additions and is capable of easily taking you through Mayhem 4. It's also super fun to use at the same time as you are just freezing absolutely everything. And honestly guys, I actually think this is one of the most powerful Zane builds in the game right now. Now I was going to call this the Iceman or the Mr. Freeze, but in reality this build you are not 100% tied to trial weapons. You can mix it up and it will still cause amazing damage. So the Night King is absolutely perfect. So firstly the weapons I am using with this, this Cryo's Lucian Cool with that extra Cryo damage coming through that Sentinel anointment. This infinity pistol will be subbed as it was just here for testing. My Maggie doesn't leave my inventory, again with that sentinel anointment offering that extra cryo damage. And we then have this beast, the redistributor with that sentinel cryo anointment too. Amazing weapon which just finishes this build perfectly. The redistributor is obtainable from Walton and the Valkyrie squad within the Malawan raid. Ok so the shield I am using here is the frozen snowshoe. This again drops from Walton and the Valkyrie squad. This shield is really what I saw and decided to base my build around and this is what we have right here. Sliding into enemies drains all shields and deals up to 5949 bonus cryo damage based on current shield strength. 30% of nova damage is returned as health, plus 40% capacity, minus 10% max health. This one anointed with an action skill end, action skill cooldown rate is increased by 20% for a short time. An amazing shield in reality perfect for a cryo build and that's what we have here. Now I do pair this with other things in this build which I'll explain in a second. Class mod here I'm using the Seeing Dead, the best Zane class mod in the game, mine offering 5 points into Donny Brook, which is the best you can get in my opinion. Artifact I'm using is the Snowdrift Victory Rush. This almost perfect when paired with that shield in Usia. Sliding faster dealing cryo damage plus 27% cryo efficiency with a bigger mag size. If this had any kind of shield regen or shield regen delay that would be 100% perfect. And the grenade we have is this green, not important here, it's just the anointment which this offers, which is why it's selected. Grenades don't really play a part in this build, apart from the anointments they offer. And this one giving you an action skill end, deal 50% bonus cryo damage with weapons for 10 seconds. So skill tree build, starting with the Digiclone, important for damage output, we have 5 points into Synchronicity and 3 points going into Donny Brook. On the Sentinel tree we have 5 points into Violent Speed, 4 points into Cold Bore and 5 points into Violent Momentum. Cold Boy is underrated if you make it a habit of switching weapons. We have 5 points into Salvation, important for defensive reasons obviously. We then have Death Follows Close and then 3 points into Good Misfortune. Now you can sacrifice 1 or 2 points here within this Good Misfortune and put them into Donny Brook if you like, that's up to you. With the Seeing Dead class mod though and Good Misfortune pairing together it makes it super easy to keep your action skills active. That's why I've applied 3 into Good Misfortune. On the barrier tree we are putting 5 points into Adrenaline, 5 points into Ready for Action. Ready for Action is important as the quicker you can regen those shields the quicker you can then slide into enemies getting the benefits of that shield. 5 points into Brain Freeze, a great perk here, and then 2 points into Best Serve Cold. I could have added more here but in reality we are getting more than enough cryo damage elsewhere and in fact only slotting 1 point here people is the right thing to do and then selecting Confident Competence. That would be the better call in my opinion so that's what I'd advise you to do. So that will be 1 point into Best Serve Cold and then 1 point into Confident Competence. Action skills with slot 2 I'm using barrier with retaliation and all rounder augments. This gives you that perfect protection for when you're sliding into a group of enemies. And we also are using sentinel with bad dose in static field. So all this build works in making a most that are moving quick, sliding and dealing maximum damage. 99% of it coming from cryo. 
but at the same time giving you enough defensive to not have to pull back out of certain instances. Pairing that with the 100% sentinel anointed weapons means this just goes absolutely crazy because like I said your action skills are literally active 99% of the time so you're always getting that bonus trial damage and all this damage just stacks on top of each other people and it makes playing Mayhem 4 absolutely a piece of cake. One thing that could make this a little better is what I mentioned at the start, a better shield recharge time. So if you come across an artifact, a snowdrift artifact, with that cryo efficiency and shield recharge delay, that is perfect for this build people. But all in all guys, this is an absolutely incredible build, one I guarantee you will have lots of fun using and will make Mayhem 4 for anybody struggling out there a piece of cake. Now I've made many other Mayhem 4 builds with Zayn, probably my favourite is the Winter Soldier version 2, all can be found on my channel. I do have many more builds in the works though so stay tuned for them. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video, people. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. I will leave you now to watch the rest of the video and see what this is capable of on Mayhem 4 within that slot shaft. Massive shout out to my pal, Rangers Mad 69 for helping me out with a lot of equipment used in this video also. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One. explosives this time! More! Sight to the dead! Where's my car? We're ready for ya! I'll kill ya! You couldn't hit a cow's ass! You'll be ashamed, dear. I'm gonna junk up your soul! about that one. Grab him! 